When I woke up May 11th and saw this Discord message from my friend Krayson, I knew it was my destiny to take 15th place in the Evasion Trios tournament. The only question is, how did we do it? How did we manage to play so well, yet place so average? Well, sit back, relax, and hit that subscribe button because you're about to find out. Seriously though, subscribe if you enjoy this video. Shockingly few of you who watch my videos are subscribed, so let's change that. In this story, we begin with the hour leading up to the official start of the tournament. This is the time you're given to strategize, talk with your teammates, as well as build some loadouts. For the Evasion Trios tournament, we're given special accounts to play on, as well as private servers so that things can run smoothly. I opted to go with the 556 MDR for the duration of this tournament, a personal favorite of mine. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't 556 kind of bad in this meta? Yeah, it kind of is, but the MDR shoots it well and I like the control that that gun offers. It still packs enough of a punch so that I can take down enemies with relative ease, so I wasn't too pressed about it. The rest of my kit was class 5 armor, U-lock helmet, and some other things that aren't important. Game time and the tournament begins. Our first spawn, the power station. If I didn't mention this before, this whole thing takes place on interchange. Killa and Tagilla spawn in Goshen, they each have a key to Ultramed and Emrakam, which both house a Ledex inside. Getting out with the ledx gets you bonus points to make things simple just pause the video and read this this explains the rest we decided to get the hell away from power station without turning it on we didn't want to get caught out there so we pushed straight in towards goshen as we got inside the store itself all hell immediately broke loose we heard shots grenades ai yelling for the first raid this got intense fast just on the other side of these boxes, SEAL Team 6 started to unload on us. A grenade almost hit me in the face, and then we did what we could to try and keep the enemy from jumping over onto our side. We ended up backing up towards the way that we came in, and decided it was in our best interest to flank all the way around, come in through idea, and end up on the opposite side of Goshen. The only problem was, by the time we got back, it was near dead silent inside Goshen. That super aggressive team had taken everyone else out, and was nowhere to be found. We did find Killa's body, whoever took him out got some good points on the board. He still had his Ultramed key too, so we took it. At this point, it seemed like we were the last ones in the raid. The raids themselves were only 25 minutes long, and it seemed like the victor had already been decided in just mere minutes. All we could do now was turn on power and go get the Ledex from Ultramed, and get whatever points we could on the board. So that's just what we did. In the end, we all three got out alive, with an objective item, so we called that a small victory. That round had moved much faster than any of us could have anticipated, so in the next round, we knew we needed to kick it up a notch. We spawned in and moved towards Goshen again. As we were pushing through the loading docks, we heard World War III break out inside. I completely choked a kill that was right in front of me, but luckily my teammate was able to secure it. I saw another enemy further down the hall and dug down to allow my teammates behind me to take him out with their scopes. See, in my head, since they were both using long range scopes, I figured it would be a good idea for me to slap a hollow on and be the close quarters guy. So I ducked and threw some grenades to keep him occupied. About this time, the unthinkable happened. Another team pushed in behind us from where we had come in and picked one of us off. I immediately started to retreat to try and get in position, but before I could even make it halfway back, my other teammate had been picked off as well. It was up to me and my 10,000 plus hours experience in Tarkov to lock this down. What happens next can best be described visually through paint. See, in Tarkov, peeking from the right is good and peeking from the left is bad. In my infinite wisdom in this very moment, my potato brain could not comprehend this, and even though somewhere deep inside of me I knew it was a bad idea, I pushed left anyway and got toasted. Last round, my team had flanked and when we showed up, everyone was gone. This round, someone else flanked and caught us all by surprise. An unfortunate start for us, but this was far from over. The next round. We're not going to talk about it, nothing important happened. I decided from this point on to just use the Valde on my MDR, instead of the holographic. Having range just seemed way too important in this tournament. It proved useful right away when I got this pick in Goshen. This raid we were able to take down a few enemies and grab their tags. We were finally able to get in on the action and score some good points. We took no backpack extract and called it a win. Next raid, we got a spawn outside the corner of Ollie. We hadn't spawned here yet, so we decided to go straight up to Ollie and head towards Goshen from inside the mall, so we could end up on the other side of the tents and hopefully be in a favorable position. We pushed straight down towards the front of Avocado so we could get a good line of sight down the long hall. 
Then we heard Killa and the fight to take him down right on the other side of the tents in the actual Goshen store. We started to move forward and I saw enemies down the hall, but couldn't get a good shot off on them. I kept moving up and ended up hiding behind this pillar next to Fire Barrel. Now this next fight would prove that I did have RNG on my side in this tournament. Through the fog and cracks, I saw a familiar face. A man who had killed me more times than I could even count. Killa, the boy wonder. He was running at me and I started getting war flashbacks. This is where my 556 let me down. Killa tanked a few shots that I was able to get on him and I narrowly avoided death by backing up behind the pillar. My teammate was able to take down Killa as well as another enemy and save my life. We waited a while to make sure no one else was around then we cleaned up and looted everyone. We got tags as well as both the Ultramed and Emercom key. We ended up hitting both and getting the two lead X's inside. This was a huge round for us, possibly the best one of the tournament so far. Next game we spawned at Power Station and decided once again to head towards Goshen from the middle of the mall. To do this we went under Idea and up the escalator opposite side the trend escalator. When I got in a position on the second floor looking towards Goshen, I was already seeing dead bodies. This wasn't a good sign, and of course as we investigated, everyone was already gone. We did find the Ultra Med key on Killa and went to go grab the lead X out of that room. Next raid we got the front corner of Idea spawn. On. We liked the positioning that entering from this side of the mall gave us, so we knew we wanted to take advantage of it again. This time though, we really hustled so we wouldn't miss out on the action. And it paid off. Yeah. Are they on y'all's side? They're two moving. They're two moving to cafeteria. Two moving to cafeteria. Got one. Coming. Good kill. Pushing. Got two. Got nice. killed. Oh, the other one shooting me from Careful. middle. I'm healing. Shit. I'm, I'm in cover. They're dead, they're dead. Nice, nice, nice. Them. Well played, well played, well played. Another good round for us. Kills, tags, and lead X. Remember when I said RNG was on my side in this? Well, the very next raid, we got the same spawn as before. So we made the exact same play as before and pushed in from the middle mall. A scav said hello, and a few more did too. When we pushed up to scout the area, we found a dead killer and Tagilla and multiple PMC with their tags still on them. We got both keys and went to go grab the lead X. I opened Emrecom and much to my surprise, someone else had already done that. Someone very early on in the raid had used an Emrecom key from a previous raid to sneak into Emrecom and take the lead x so we did the next best thing and went to go grab the letty from ultra med new raid same position and i finally got the payoff for it oh, oh i see a whole yeah. team you hit someone two dead someone's dead this was going to be the last raid we could make it in before the tournament ended so we knew we had to play it out and make the most of our points we once again found multiple dead pmc with their tags still on them Killa and Tagilla too. We all three split up, I turned on power, both my teammates got the two lead X's, and that was a wrap for us. We'd secured as many points as we were gonna get. And if you're attentive, you might recall, that led us to 15th place out of 25 competing teams. We may not have taken home any money that day, but we sure did have a hell of a good time, and we got the most scav kills out of any team competing. Seeing as how scavs are the deadliest force in Tarkov, you tell me, who really won this tournament? If you guys ever want to watch more 15th place gameplay, come drop me a follow at twitch.tv slash finestxi. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to my patrons on Patreon, I appreciate you guys going the extra mile to support the channel. As well as a big thank you to the VIPs, Nick RSA, Dr. Johan, Calabag, Hugh6707, Jokes with Dad, Defnot Dallas, and Willy Boy Wonder. That's all for this one. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.